Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the MIUI SR version for the Poco X2. So guys, let's begin. Here is the MIUI SR version, MIUI 13, the crest stable version. And going to the all specs, these are the option and the device name here just showing is Pixel. The security patch level here is a bit older one because this is not the newest, the latest build I am running. I am using this from around 15 days, almost 15 days now and after that there are so many new versions available of the MIUI SR. So yes, you can try it out the newer version which might be having the newer security patch. The MIUI SR version here is 13.0.1.1 and it is the beta version based on the EU and here okay the android version here is 12 which was as expected now moving back uh, about sr these are the options the team members and everything now going back this is the settings page you can see here we have the material u ui theming options and in the this is the new control center like a bit redesigned and we can change it to the original one if we want to from the settings which I'll show you in the video. Here are the MIUI SR customizations and here is the option MIUI 13 stock control. This is the MIUI SR control center and we also get to see the MIUI stock control center which we can change it from here. As you can see the MIUI 13 stock control center here is also available and we can also change it to the newer one as you can see the newer control center redesigned one we get to see the show player the smart uh, status by style the sr style this is how the sr style looks we also get to see the dsb style this is how it looks this is not that great the big tiles paint the modes and everything these are all the options the customizations we get the brightness bar customizations, the bright enable brightness modification, the slider color and everything we can change it from here. Then in the miscellaneous, these are the options: the me account, the notify colored icon, volte icon, and everything. Secure app screenshot. We can also take screenshots in secured apps. Then the hide notification icon and everything. These were the customizations of me SR ROM. Now moving to the lock screen, these are the just the same options, I'll just not show it to you. In the display, in the refresh rate, we get to th see the three options, 120Hz, 90Hz and 60Hz. So yes, which is good. The 120Hz is running perfectly fine. Now moving back uh, here in the home screen settings, these are all just the same options. There are some new options, the double tap on the desktop, the swipe up, double tap on the top left side. We can set whatever the action we want to set. So these are some new home screen options available in this ROM. Back to the fingerprints, everything here is working perfectly fine, security app. Talking about the battery backup, the battery backup on this ROM here is really good. From 99% to 24% 3 hours for 6 minutes of screen on time. Now moving to the another features, the additional settings these are the options the clear speaker option here is available memory extension here is available which adds 2 gb of virtual ram and the led light option here is available which is working fine it's not working for notifications the led light here is working only while charging then going to the special features we get to see the sidebar now available this is how it looks the sidebar and if you open any app from the sidebar it will directly open to this floating window which is helpful now moving back the tab plus here is available the floating window kids space here is available but it is in chinese the light mode miui lab everything here is so far available all the features miui features are available there are no features missing out this is the app vault we don't get to see the google feed option we only get to see the app vault and this is these are the widgets available there are a lot of widgets available but as you can see some of them are in chinese like mostly most of them are in chinese not some of them as you can see this is the add widgets page we can add whatever the widget we want so yeah these are a whole lot of widgets we can download now moving to the home screen this is the ui and the ui here is a bit 
smooth like it's a lot smoother as you can see there are no lags or stutters it's smooth but the animations here are slow it's not that as much fast as the other roms the animations are made slow and smooth and 120 hertz it just feel great talking about the performance here the performance on this rom here is just not an issue it's just great as you can see these are the geekbench scores 539 and 1673 so scores are great and the performance here is also great no issues these are the only apps available as you can see and i have installed some of the apps so yeah. now talking about the safety net status the safety net status has failed and the banking apps here are just not working all the banking apps here are not working and the google play protect certification has also failed i'll show you in the settings as you can see device certification device is not certified so the banking apps are just not working here in this room otherwise everything is working fine so far so good no such major bugs everything here is good and we get to see these unimportant notifications feature here in this room which is from the u room so yes and this is the new clock style this is the default theme the home default theme then the icons here are default i'll show you in the themes this is the chinese theme app available here in the my account as you can see the theme this is the classic theme here it is showing this app icons but the app icons are by default at this one and we cannot change it to the original one now talking about the other things like bugs here the bug here is uh, that the volume bar just don't go up when you press and hold the volume button and also the you cannot increase the volume but volume with the volume buttons or decrease the volume you have to do like this when you press and hold the volume down button it goes on the silent mode and when you double tap all this and you press and hold the up button then it just goes to the normal mode so this is a feature available and if you keep pressing the volume down button it will go to the dnd mode so this is a feature available and the volume just don't go up and down with the volume button so this is also a bug and it's called kind of feature so yeah and the gallery app here is just the same as the you get in the eu rom the all and the camera so yeah this was it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye